Hey everybody, Boz here. Uh, how many out there remember this uh, this album here, uh, Pac-Man Fever, uh, released in 1982. Um, it had a lot of the uh, sound effects to uh, the video games that were out at that time, uh, including Pac-Man, Frogger, Centipede, uh, Donkey Kong, a bunch of them. So uh, this was a very popular album. Uh, I know, I know, I when it first came out, I had to go out and buy it. But uh, recently, um, ThinkGeek.com released uh, uh, this record right here. They released it in several different variants, um, and uh, of course, I had to buy it. Now, this was uh, more of a, this was actually a Namco. So this deals with a Namco game, which includes Pac-Man. Uh, it also includes Galaga, New Rally, Mappy, Dig Dug, ba Bastionian. Uh, my brother and I have spent hours and hours playing Bosconian. So um, uh, here's what the back side looks like. And uh, here's what the front side looks like here. Um, I got this um, a couple weeks ago. I have not opened it up. I wanted to go ahead and uh, uh, open it up here and let you all see it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my trusty uh, knife here that I use. Okay, and... Uh, Here's uh, the cover with the cellophane off. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, I know this has got special cover. You can change. Uh, um, let's see. This is the sleeve here. So we got. Uh, there we go. We got Galaga over here. I uh, love Galaga. Spent hours and hours and hours and hours playing Galaga. Uh, same, same thing with Pac-Man. Although honestly, it was more of a Miss Pac-Man. Uh, person, uh, but uh, I did I did enjoy Pac-Man as well. And um, let's go ahead and take a look what else we have inside of the uh, cover here. Uh, so looks like we have um, a little booklet here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and back up if I can and show you show you all this great stuff here. So. Um, Talks a little bit about each game, uh, when it came out. Um, another look here at this cover, at this uh, page here. And uh, so you can look at that. And we have uh, the back side. And uh, the very final image on here is going to be a uh, dig dug. Let's go ahead and get the record out of the sleeve, and it's going to take a look at it. I know it's a um, uh, colored splattered variant. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it over so we can go ahead and get, get, get a look at the at the. Um, there we go. So um, it has a little. Has a little image of the, of the little Pac-Man on uh, the top and the bottom. Uh, has all these great colors. So uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, a great. Now, now what this mainly is is uh, sound effects from these um, these games. It's nothing more than just sound effects. So, um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I saw ThinkGeek.com had this, I had to go and pick it up. Now another cool little. Uh, uh, factoid for you about Pac-Man. I know that originally it was called Puck-Man, uh, P-U-C-K, I have an image here for you up on the screen, but it was called Puck-Man, and a lot of the kids were taking uh, uh, Sharpies and markers and uh, putting a mark on the P and making it look like an F, so they decided to go ahead and change the name from uh, Puck-Man to Pac-Man to uh, keep that from happening. So once again, I wanted to thank you for uh, watching my video. Uh, be sure to, to subscribe to my channel, clicking on the purple icon in the, in the corner here. And uh, I'll see you all next time.